So welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details Webinar. A risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, for more information, go to bookmap.com and uh, you can uh, uh, access a free trial, which gives you access also to the advanced order flow webinars uh, and other resources that we have for you. Uh, that's for the free trial. It's a 14-day free trial, uh, and that advanced webinar, if you sign up, it, it uh, starts at 11 uh, Eastern every day. <clears throat> if you have any questions, uh, you can always reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. And let me show you where you can find that trial. Okay, so go to bookmap.com. Uh, and I'll just go through the uh, website really quickly here. Once you become a member, you can click here. Uh, this link here is obviously for the free webinars that you guys are in right now. Uh, and uh, let's click on explore. Uh, there's some intro videos here that you might want to watch. They're very short. Uh, they give you an overview of Bookmap. Uh, scroll down here, you see all the different uses of Bookmap. Uh, and then uh, we get to some of the partners that we have here. Uh, a little bit further down, uh, some of the advantages here, and then um, uh, connectivity. So we're, we are not a data provider. We are a software platform. You will need a data provider to connect Bookmap to the, to the live markets. And this is who we, <clears throat> who we uh, uh, support. Okay. Uh, here's where you find the trial, uh, basic and advanced uh, and quant. All right. So uh, to be honest, there's one version of Bookmap. Uh, and uh, the rest of these different variations here, uh, they're, they're just different features uh, that are added to Bookmap that allow you uh, a lot more robust um, uh, functionality, okay? So uh, the, the basic here is 49 per month. It's billed quarterly. Uh, you get that 14-day free trial. Uh, the advanced is 99, it's billed quarterly, and you also get the 14-day free trial. So. Um, the differences between the two here are the add-ons. Okay, first off, the ability to trade right from the bookmap chart. This is a nice benefit because you can see the liquidity in the market and you can um, uh, manage your trading uh, based on that. That's a that's a really nice benefit. Uh, the um, uh, other indicator add-ons that you see here, uh, these are add-ons that we developed. Uh, they're for order flow specifically for these kinds of markets. Uh, and uh, to give you insight to what's going on in limit order book as well as the traded volume and the larger players. What are the larger players doing? So our large lot tracker and our iceberg detector uh, give you insight to that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Andre, uh, are there also hidden orders uh, in the dome? Um, <clears throat> the uh, iceberg detector, I, I'll cover that uh, in, in a little bit. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, let me let me get through uh, some of the um, kind of housekeeping stuff here, and then I'll, I'll get to your question. Okay. Now, for those of you who are quants, you can learn more about it here. Uh, click there. If you want to uh, find out what version works for you, uh, click here to get the complete list, and uh, you'll see everything uh, listed here and what you're getting. Okay. So the quant, uh, there's some very specific things that quants look at for their data uh, set studies. Okay. <clears throat> All right, uh, let's see. Uh, you can follow us here on Twitter. Uh, you get uh, most up-to-date information here. Uh, and then uh, let's see, we, let's go down to uh, our YouTube page here. Uh, you can subscribe to this and this will, uh, you, you'll see the most, uh, well, our, our complete cache is, is basically here online uh, so that uh, uh, you can uh, access all the videos here. Uh, it's also on our on our website, but um, uh, we have it all on our YouTube page too. Uh, features and components. There's a playlist here. Uh, you can you can see all of them here. Uh, and um, uh, the um, uh, this just goes through basically uh, uh, well many of the different features in Bookmap, but it doesn't get into the trading part. Okay, now the order flow video snippets underneath these really concise videos here, they do get into the trading part. In fact, this is the, the content that we cover in the advanced um, uh, webinars that start uh, at 11 uh, Eastern. Okay, so uh, you, you, you can uh, watch some of these and get an idea of what we cover and then um, 
you, you can see it in detail in the uh, in the webinar and ask questions. Okay. We also have our Pro Trader webinar series that we had just last week. So if you want to revisit some of those, you can watch some of these professional traders and how they use Bookmap. Uh, some of the selected webinars here. Uh, there's just some of the webinars that uh, if you want to get a feel for what the um, uh, advanced order flow webinars are like, you can watch some of these. Okay, we we dive right into um, the um, uh, order flow and uh, don't uh, go through any of this kind of uh, housekeeping stuff or uh, uh, you know information about where to find things in Bookmap. It's really all about the order flow. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So let's uh, let's take a look here, and let, let's let's uh, we've been looking at oil all week, uh, and it's the one that's been moving. So uh, it's been uh, it's been good to uh, to be covering that uh, right from the get go on Monday when we saw the uh, the dollar strength coming in, and um, uh, anyway, um, uh, oil has been moving uh, to the upside. Uh, so um, uh, let's see. Um, Andre, I'll, I'll answer your question here really quickly um, about the um, uh, iceberg detector. Okay, uh, in the limit order book here in the dome. Okay, this is the book map dome, the COB column here. All right, and um, uh, this is where you find your depth of market. Right, it's uh, these are traders lined up here to provide liquidity. They want to deal uh, at these specific levels. Uh, now, sometimes more trade more contracts trade than what is here uh, for example on the bid uh, and how is that possible how can you actually trade more than what people are actually bidding it, you can't this is an impossible uh, situation well it, it is in the markets because you can use a hidden order type you can you can uh, hide your liquidity but it's there right and um, uh, you um, uh, the price will come back down into that area and it will trade more than what is actually in the book. We capture the difference and we project it onto the chart here. So 153 contracts here, which is a large size here for uh, for crude. Okay, 119 here, 48 here. So we're getting insight, right? We're getting insight to where the larger players here are absorbing uh, without showing liquidity. Okay. So uh, they're getting positioned, and they're get, they're they're uh, getting filled here with their hidden orders uh, at these price levels. Okay, so they're they are long here. Okay, if it's on the other side, they are short. Okay, now there's also a red number in here uh, that shows the, the same exact thing in the uh, current order book as. Um, uh, in, in the columns here, but uh, uh, don't get confused by that right now. Um, we can uh, we've enhanced this indicator to show uh, the historical evolution of the uh, 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 iceberg orders. Okay, so for example, I mean, you know, I, I know this, this is already um, getting into the advanced uh, stuff pretty quickly here because um, even in the advanced webinars, we look at the indicator add-ons lastly as a confluence but in this case here look how how nicely it worked out right we can we see the position size of the larger players here okay and we can see that uh, they started to lift the offer here pretty aggressively and we're up above at the uh, at the top of this range here okay this gives a lot of insight a lot of times uh, looking at these uh, iceberg indicators okay and in this case it worked out really nicely all right. Uh, let's see. Market maker. Uh, would it be possible you can explain uh, absorption? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, I just I just covered in detail um, the uh, red and green numbers, so I, I hope that helps. And that is absorbing. Uh, it, it is absorption. Uh, they are absorbing without being seen, though, in the book. Why would they want to do that? Right. Well, here. Look. Let's look at 52.25 right here. Okay. 171 contracts. All right, so um, you know that uh, is showing that there are a lot of buyers here, right? They want to buy at this area, okay? Well, these guys are getting filled; they're front running that high liquidity here. Like the market will may come down and trade into this area, but um, uh, they want to make sure that they're getting their position on. And you can see very consistently they have been, okay? So this is kind of a trick 
uh, you know, just uh, think about it. Uh, uh, going to an auction, we use this auction analogy all the time. It truly uh, is how the markets operate, uh, and it works well. Uh, we we can see here at 52.25, there's pretty high liquidity. Okay, well, guys are getting filled before that. Okay, usually um, uh, this this uh, the market knows it can trade here, but it's it's not going to reach it if these other guys are front running in in in, uh, in front of uh, that high liquidity. Okay, and you can't see them, so the, the sellers might think, oh, okay, well I can get filled down here at 52.25, and they uh, they hit the bid really hard. Well, they're 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 getting absorbed here by the uh, iceberg. Okay. Uh, can you recognize HFT trading in this? Absolutely, uh, Andre. It's all over the place. Uh, you know, we can see here. Uh, I'm really getting uh, off off target here. I need to get into the basics uh, because uh, there's some other traders in here that uh, uh, you know are, are new traders, and uh, this is more for the advanced uh, webinars. But um, uh, absolutely, I mean, look at this skew in the book here underneath on the bid pressing price up into longer term liquidity up here and then they're starting to absorb up here okay so potentially maybe some of these guys down here are starting to cover some of their position up here okay so all sorts of things going on uh, we'll, we'll see uh, algorithmic activity no, no question about it uh, and you, you know it's it's really uh, pretty pretty fascinating to see because you don't Although a lot of these algos, they're working on, you know, microsecond or millisecond level or even nanosecond level. Uh, but you can still witness it here in Bookmap. We can drill into those areas. Uh, you know, we're at millisecond level here. We can continue to zoom in and we can see exactly what occurred here uh, down to micro uh, or uh, even nanosecond. Okay. All right. Now, um, Let's back up here and uh, let's take a look at what bookmap is showing you. Okay, I just wanted to answer those questions since uh, you guys asked those right away. Uh, we're going to start off here, and uh, for for many of you uh, who are new here, uh, perhaps that was a, a bit of a foreign language. Uh, but um, uh, so let me um, let me start off here, and we'll, we'll we'll end up with that iceberg order. Okay, and we'll see how this actually played out. Uh, but uh, nice absorption down here, and that's exactly what Market Maker here is asking about. Um, and uh, a lot of that's done with the uh, icebergs here, as you can see. Anyway, uh, let's take off some of the layers of information, and let's put on a candlestick chart. All right, this is a five-minute candlestick chart, okay, in crude oil. And we can see this uh, downward trend so far. Okay. We can also see in a candlestick chart, um, you can start to, uh, you know, look at uh, some of the wicks and the bodies. It's open, high, low, close of a candle, of a, of, a, of, a, of a time period. All right. And this time period here, it opened up here. It went up a little bit. It went down all the way here. And then it came back up. And you can start to infer uh, on this candlestick, well, there's probably buyers down here, right? There's buying pressure. Well, um, you know, you can assume that, but we actually don't really know. Um, uh, we, we don't really know if it was down here. We don't know if it was up here. Uh, we don't know if this is exhaustion, lack of trading, uh, and the market could not trade, so it rotated back up to where it could trade. All of this information is completely lost on this candlestick chart. Okay, we do have a volume sub column here, or um, sub chart. Uh, but um, it's still not giving us the information and transparency we need. We need to know where the volume took place, where they're committed, what type of volume it is. Was it aggressive buying or selling? And we want to see how much uh, and uh, really pinpoint some microstructures in, within this five-minute period. Okay, so let's turn on the historical best bid and offer. And this already gives us insight to microstructural areas, okay? Uh, and that is lacking here in this five-minute candlestick chart. So, for example, let's uh, look at this uh, move to the downside, and let's see if we, we can uh, start to notice some microstructural areas, okay? There's a, there's a little bit here. Um, I, I would say you can see this is – the end, the beginning of that five minute period, and here's the end, and this candlestick represents all of this action here. 
all right? And look how this uh, this broke down here. It's pretty pretty interesting, and um, it, this is microstructural, and this is what we look at all the time here in Bookmap because it gives us insight um, and, and transparency. For example, we came down here, moved back up, and then we, we had the break right here, okay, at uh, 52.48. Look at the retest. Where do we come right back to? 52.48 or maybe 47 here, okay? Uh, but basically, well, it's, no, it's the same price level. It's exactly where we broke from right here. Okay. That is lacking here in this candlestick chart. We don't see any of that data. Okay. So just alone, historical best bid and offer is helping. Historical bid is the green line. Historical uh, offer uh, is the uh, is the red line. Okay. This is this is uh, 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 unfolding levels of transparency that help us make more informed trading decisions. Okay. So uh, this is where you will probably find uh, um, some sellers uh, interested here. Probably, probably a flip of the book. Uh, liquidity that will be on this side will flip to the other side. All right. Let's, let's get into just the volume now, though. Where did the historical uh, or where, where did the transactions take place? Well, they take place on the historical best bid and offer, right? So let's turn on the volume dots uh, and let's, uh, let's take a look here. Okay. In fact might have some studies on my volume dots. Let me just double check here. No, okay, I'm all good. All right, um, so we can see the volume really started to pick up here. Now we're starting to read exactly what type of volume it is and where it traded. And this is, this is uh, really helping us here make much more informed trading decisions, okay? We can see the type of volume here. Look at the aggressive selling. Okay, there's buying in here as well, right? But down in this area at a, at a lower low, we're having, we, we can see more selling than buying. Uh, and this is giving us a lot of, a lot of insight here. Uh, so the, um, uh, we come back up, test to where we broke from here and can you continue on down? A lot of selling down here, a lot of transactions in, in general. Uh, but we can see that, uh, well, there's a lot of buying as well. But uh, if we, you know, we can also see the selling in this area and in this area here. Okay. So now we know what comprised this candlestick. Okay. We can see that the uh, majority of the selling or uh, transactions took place down here within that five-minute period. Okay. That's on the wick. All right. And uh, we can see that uh, we came back up uh, to where we broke from here. Uh, and we uh, we can also note here if we zoom in, and I'm going to zoom in uh, precisely into this area here because I want to show you what kind of volume we're looking at. Okay, um, we're looking at here uh, aggressive market buy orders and sell orders. A green dot is an aggressive market buy order. The reason being, and why we consider it aggressive, is they cross the spread, they hit the market buy button, they wanted into the market. They did not provide liquidity, they did not wait at these levels like these other traders with their limit orders. Okay, they took the liquidity uh, from uh, these levels instead. Okay, and a green dot uh, paints onto the screen. Uh, same with a, a red dot, that is an aggressive market sell. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, some of this uh, is a v VWAP, uh, you know, uh, displayed here very, very quickly. That's why we're down here at millisecond level, as you can see. But if I continue to zoom in, we will really see the details here. This is exactly what uh, occurred. All right. Now we're down at microsecond level. We're, we're looking at millions of seconds here. Okay, we can continue to zoom in and we can see every single event that took place. All right, now we're looking at uh, one more. Here we go. Okay, now we're looking at billions of seconds down here at this level. Okay, now we don't trade off of those levels, uh, but um, uh, note how we're showing you every single event now, but, but watch how I start to zoom out and these dots will start to uh, aggregate just visually. All of the data is still here. It's just visually aggregated, and we're giving you the VWAP here. Uh, most of it's selling, but uh, it's in between best bid and offer in this case, but it's just the VWAP. 
okay? Uh, volume weighted average price. Uh, and um, I continue to zoom out and note how as I compress the timeline, as, as I zoom out, uh, you, you get these displays where you see the uh, Pi display. So many transactions took place here that we give you the overall of what occurred. And uh, uh, just looking at this one, you can see that the majority of it here is selling. Now, if you want the actual number, you can use that, uh, this tool, rollover, uh, data tip tool, and you can see the date, the time, what was on the bid, and then the volume here that traded. Okay. Okay, that's the volume. Uh, and uh, now we have that clarity and we have that understanding of where these transactions are taking place. Okay. All right. Now let me get to the um, limit order book and the liquidity. Okay. So getting insight with the volume is, is excellent. Um, and um, uh, having that within a microstructure is even better because uh, we can understand the breaks of the structure and where the volume trades within that structure or outside of that structure. You're going to lack that kind of information in a footprint chart. Okay. So Bookmap offers a, a uh, you know, that ability to see that microstructure because uh, it, it's a recording every single event, right? The, um, uh, the footprint chart is going to aggregate as well, okay, just like a candlestick does within a period, a five-minute period. And that's a, that's a nice leg up because uh, we can then start to understand, um, you know, more volume trading above a little structure that's going to be lacking in a footprint chart. All right. Now, so the volume is good. It's 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 good to understand what's going on with the with the transactions. But we also want to know the other side of the story. Where are they lining up to deal? Okay, where are they providing liquidity? Uh, and uh, we look to the dome for that. Uh, and um, uh, this is the dome and book map, the current order book column. Okay. Uh, and uh, we can see these numbers are changing all the time. These are sellers lined up on the offer, providing liquidity. They want to sell at these price levels. Okay, it's on the bid here. Now, when these numbers change, it, it just means that, um, you know, these players are either adding or pulling their liquidity from the market. And they change all day long. And, um, uh, you know, it's good to see the insight. Uh, for example, look at this half figure here, 5250. There's 207 contracts, quite a few. Okay, it's no really no surprise because it's an even or half number here. Um, but um, uh, when these numbers change, you've lost that data. The, the dome gives you a really good picture of the current market, but it doesn't give you a good picture of what occurred there previously. You'd have to memorize that, uh, and that can be really challenging. So uh, we, uh, we solved that issue here uh, by showing you uh, the uh, historical evolution of the dome. Okay, so for example, uh, let's look at um, uh, this uh, 5250 area here. Okay, notice uh, in in this window here, which is the current best bid and offer right here with these two dashed lines, and this this number is the last traded volume. Um, uh, we have this heat map here. Okay, and this heat map is actually changing in the grayscale. Okay, this is the adding and pulling of liquidity. When these numbers change over here, the uh, the um, heat map uh, changes to reflect that. Right, so now we have an understanding graphically where high liquidity is. Look at 200, 200 contracts just came in here at 44. Okay, now they're pulling. Okay, uh, and uh, what does that look like now? Uh, because we'll, we'll take this data and we will um, transpose it on the chart historically. So now you're seeing the tape, not only the tape, I mean the uh, the transactions, but the liquidity and how they're bidding and offering in this market. So now we can start to gauge their interest uh, at these levels, okay? So let's go look at that 44 area here. I'm gonna zoom in uh, and uh, see the striations here uh, in this little area. This is the adding and pulling of liquidity, okay? So they, uh, we can use this um, data tip tool we see uh, here the date, the time, and on, on the ask is 167 contracts. And they bumped up to 188. And they bumped it up to 202. Uh, right here, they took a little bit away to 197. They, they took a lot away here. Now, now we're down to um, uh, 180. Uh, and then they added back in. 
This is the adding and pulling of liquidity. And we can start to gauge the intent of these traders at these areas. Okay, so price came back up into this area and then they pulled. So did they want to trade? And the answer is no. If they wanted to trade, they would have remained here in the limit order book. Okay, so we've just identified fake liquidity. Okay, here it is again. And uh, Andre, uh, Andre, this uh, gets to your question about some of that algorithmic activity. Okay, uh, in fact, if I zoom in here, uh, we can identify very clearly some of the algorithmic activity. Note how they're uh, pulling here and adding one below. It's got to be the same player because at this very moment, same moment, they pull from here and add lower, uh, and then um, uh, they they uh, they pull from here and add lower as well. Okay, just like a piece of a puzzle here. So we 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 are we are identifying this algo. Okay, and we're identifying them adding and pulling liquidity without the intent to trade here. Okay, they don't want to trade. It looks to us that uh, some of this longer term liquidity up here, though, it's staying in the book. Okay, when price comes up here, we'll see if they continue to stay here in the book. Uh, but um, uh, the longer term liquidity, uh, you know, uh, it it appears at this moment what we everything we know they are staying here and they do want to trade okay all right anyway uh putting all these pieces together let's end up uh, no i'll get to your questions but um uh, i do want to end up with that iceberg um indicator here uh and um and let's take the candlesticks off here as well because uh we've gone through that um uh, we see the absorption down here before this high liquidity area, and we see the initi initiated buyers uh, come in and uh, lift the offer up out of this little structural area, okay? And uh, so far, we are accepting above. You can even see the retest here and the exhaustion in these little areas here, uh, and then the move to the upside, okay? All right, so uh, I know that's quite a bit, because uh, quite a lot, um, but uh, uh, I started off answering the, the question about the iceberg, so I, I thought I would end up with it there too. Uh, a few more questions. Uh, how is it possible to see in these big circles who are the market? Ah, okay, well, uh, market maker, you would use, use this uh, rollover tool or you can use your data columns as well. Okay, you can put it within the chart range. Uh, but um, I would recommend just using the uh, the rollover tool. You see 745 contracts here. If you want more information, zoom in, and we'll pull that apart, and then you'll really get an understanding of what occurred here, okay? And then you can look at your um, chart range volume profile here. This is the volume that traded within our viewable chart range, and we can see exactly what traded, okay? Uh, and if you want to split that out, you can just right click here in this column. You can choose format and we can split out the data here with the style options. Okay. And now I have exact data here for what occurred within this range. Okay. 395 on, on the bid, um, or I'm sorry, aggressive buying and then uh, 180 aggressive selling at 5240. All right, and then you can just use this, if you wanna look at the individual uh, trades, you can also uh, do that uh, by rolling over here. Now, you know, this one says 43, for example, but if I continue to zoom in here, you're just gonna note how really, what really occurred here, all right? Uh, and uh, it is 42 trades, as we can see here, our, our trade count, or our, I'm sorry, 42 contracts, you can see the, uh, the volume here. Uh, but uh, this is really what occurred. And this is just how these markets trade algorithmically. They're not going to show their size by one trade for 42. They're going to break it up into many. All right. Okay. Uh, Andre, okay, this is a good question. Um, are we planning to so show some live trades? Um, well, um, not, we are not a trading room, all right? Uh, we're not a subscription uh, service for a trading room. We are a platform. Uh, I can, uh, you know, show you um, some things about uh, some of the uh, some of the trading activity, uh, or you know, um, functionality. Uh, but um, you know, I, I'm I'm not going to uh, go over a specific trading style, nor 
uh, uh, you know, specific trades, uh, because uh, uh, that is up for uh, um, educators uh, to uh, to handle. Uh, you know, we're, we're a platform. Just think of like Ninja. Would you ask Ninja Trader? Um, uh, well, can you show me some uh, some live trades from a from a trading style? Well, they would say no. I mean, uh, you know, there's all sorts of ways to trade. Uh, we're providing you a platform. It's up 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 for the user. Now that said. Uh, the advanced webinars, which I'm late to, I've got to run. Um, the um, uh, we do go through the analysis here, just like we did here. Okay, and what we will point out uh, in the advanced webinars is uh, anticipation of price movement. Okay, by reading the order flow, like right here, this looks good. We notice the absorption down here. Uh, and then we see them uh, lift the offer. I'm looking for pullbacks into these areas here. I'm looking for areas of exhaustion. It, it, it played out really nicely here. I'm looking for the aggressor to come right back in and lift the market higher, okay? And that's what happened. Now, you can see the sellers jumped in here on the other side, but um, uh, this kind of analysis is reserved for the uh, advanced traders once they've gone through a lot of the platform details and understand what they're looking at. OK, and uh, if, if you're interested in that, then I, I'd recommend giving the, the trial uh, a try. It's uh, 14 days and, uh, uh, you know, get access there and um, uh, ans ask all your questions there. OK. All right, guys. Uh, Trade station. Um, not sure about that. I know that's one of the big three that we're looking at, JH, but um, uh, we do not uh, connect to, uh, to Trade station at the moment. All right. All right, guys. Uh, I will uh, catch up with you tomorrow. Uh, and um, else, uh, if you're in trial, we'll see you uh, just uh, in the other webinar here. Okay, thanks.